and it's Mardi Mishrafi from the Food Biz Talk. I hope you're doing okay. In today's video, what we're going to talk about is Domino's Pizza and how these guys basically won the pandemic. Many of us in, in, the, in the world right now, we're talking about a few businesses which are, have really boomed in the pandemic, such as Amazon Pizza. Amazon Pizza, I was going to say Amazon and also Zoom, but not near as much should be uh, is being talked about Domino's Pizza. Uh, that's why in this video today, we're going to talk about what Domino's did in order to massively make the most out of this pandemic period. When the lockdown first kind of hits us uh, during March time in the UK, I'm speaking, I'm pre I think worldwide too in the US as well. So it hits us during the March, April period. And at that time, many big high street uh, food businesses such as McDonald's, Burger King, I also believe Pizza Hut, they decided to close their doors due to the COVID-19 social distancing restriction as well. But Domino's Pizza were, were the only very few businesses, I believe, which still remained open during the COVID-19 crisis. And it's a pretty much a no-brainer why they decided to stay open. They're a delivery business, they do takeout, and during the lockdown period, all the customers would be sitting home, staying home, whereas the only thing they can actually do to kind of enjoy themselves is to get a takeaway, takeaway or delivery. What do Domino's specialize in is in food delivery. That's why when other businesses did decide to close, uh, it gave a massive market to Domino's Pizza to kind of reach out into that and to and to grab their customers. So so obviously they benefited by other businesses closing. So I believe that to be a, another big reason why their sales surged during the lockdown period. So if you type in Google, there'll be many articles stating that Google, uh, Domino's Pizza, it has the sales have increased massively. Uh, in my particular opinion, I believe Domino's is first, they are first a technology business. First a technology business, then they're a pizza delivery company. From a very early time since Domino's was launched, they've invested in technology heavily. They were the first to introduce GPS tracking delivery, so that enabled customers to track where their pizza driver was on their phone or on their smartphone. They're also one of the very first to introduce mobile ordering system. So where customers could basically order through a mobile phone, through a Domino's application or website. And since then, many other companies obviously followed Domino's footsteps. This really helped them with the logistics behind uh, sales. The utilization of software was pretty much uh, really efficient for Domino's Pizza. So uh, due to that, that kind of gave them, uh, made decision making much easier for them. So they they could decide, hey, I could open there, I could open here, and this is how we're gonna franchise the business. And also due to this investment in technology, uh, the digital presence for Domino's massively helped them to kind of connect with their customers and deliver a unique experience to them. Domino's main focus is on takeout and delivery. As their competitor, uh, Pizza Hut, who kind of have a, a dine-in concept too, that is not much uh, focused on by Domino's because they do, they do not allow dine-in customers and they do not have a dine-in setup. So they basically just, uh, so they're primarily a takeaway business. If you go on the Domino's website itself, they kind of state the importance they put on safety uh, amongst their customers, colleagues, and also suppliers. So it's on their official website. I'll put a link in the bio below. And on their social media, they're constantly reminding customers, place an order with us, you'll be safe, you'll be secure. Tackless delivery is the only sort of delivery we do. So they're constantly reminding customers of contactless delivery. And if customers do order with Domino's Pizza, they'll get a safe experience and do not have to obviously worry about the COVID-19. Here, here are another few key moves which Domino have done, uh, which obviously contributed to their success. Pretty much order a pizza through through your phone, your laptop, your desktop, your tablet, and also furthermore, uh, they, you can order Domino's through Smart TV. Yes, that's right, Smart TV. <laughs> and e Amazon Echo, Google Home, Smart TV. When I say Smart TV, I mean Samsung TV and Facebook Messenger. So the ease of, of being able to place an order from customers to order a pizza is just very simple and it's highly accessible. Zero click in pizza too. Uh, zero click in order, sorry. So 
Well, according to Domino's, you don't even have to click once to get the order, to, to receive an order, but you do have to make a few initial clicks, I guess. Uh, really, after downloading it, setting up, uh, choosing your favorite pizza, you pretty much just have to click the app once and automatically you, uh, a pizza will be delivered to you. So it's not really zero clicking, but uh, close enough. And for that, good job, Domino's. Because the amount of innovation Domino's are doing is just constantly, it's just non-stop. Another one is the cardboard pedestal. So they basically contactless delivery, they put the cardboard underneath and then they put the pizza box on top. That's another good innovation, I guess. And just recently, I think Domino's introduced a vegan pizza range in the UK uh, in order to target the vegan customer base in UK as, as there is quite a few. Due to this, due to their, their investment in technology, it does make crises like this, such as the COVID-19, uh, a much smoother process for them to manage. And Domino's Pizza is the biggest pizza chain in the UK and I believe in the world too. And I believe a big reason for that is due to their investment in software and technology. Staying on top of new trends, new patterns or whatever is coming new. Although the vegan pizza, I do believe that came out kind of late because uh, the vegan market in the UK has been popular popping pretty much for the last two years and it's only going to grow really so i believe with that move dominoes was kind of slow and i was kind of surprised but with this covid19 feature they have come out really quick straight out the gates and they've been invested in contactless delivery uh, social media content creation for contactless delivery a uh, website page uh, stating what they have done in order to ensure everyone's safety that's why guys, I can't say enough, uh, invest in your brand and also invest in technolo technology which you believe will help you in, it, in, in your business in order to deliver a better experience to your customers. That's why guys, for example, if that means for you to invest in an ecosystem to, to minimize uh, errors and to increase accuracy, then do it as that will lead to being more efficient in your business and at the end and overall for delivering a better experience better and faster experience to your customer then do it so do not go out there just in splashing your money and every single different sort of technology really assess your business see where you're going wrong see where you can improve and in the places you can improve obviously look for technology if a technology can kind of make you improve in that certain weakness then then invest in that technology so guys for today um that's my video i hope you guys enjoyed it do drop a subscribe do drop a like and also subscribe to the channel and i'll hopefully see you next week all right take care peace